In the book, Frederick argues in favor of an enlightened absolutist monarch who would yep. provide a moral example to his people and keep them healthy and happy. Yes, so Frederick very much taking cues from the Enlightenment. Uh, he took a lot of cues from Voltaire, who we're seeing on the screen right now. He tried to refute Machiavelli's The Prince. He felt that a ruler should rule for the benefit of their people. Frederick had this idea, rather novel at the time, that the king was not necessarily some absolute monarch chosen by God, but that the king was meant to be the first servant of the people. This was still a pretty crazy idea. He didn't come up with it, necessarily. It was based on social contract theory that had come before him. But it was pretty unusual for someone of Frederick's stature to be writing about these kind of things. 